Hey guys! So today we are actually working on something a little different but kind of the same. We are going to be exploring Fail Fix dolls. They've actually been out for a while now and I think that they weren't particularly popular. I know for a lot of people the size and quality of them was not worth the original price of $19.99. Um, that's US dollars of course and so a lot of stores, I know Walmart in particular, they dropped the price down to like $9.99 and honestly I think they kind of got more popular at that point because they were more affordable. It was a more reasonable price considering what you were getting for a lot of people. Um, their clothes are relatively inexpensively made pieces. Like it's not... Is not something most people would pay twenty dollars for, especially for the case of for like six or seven dollars more. You can get a rainbow high doll that comes with two very detailed outfits that's much larger. So I think the initial price of twenty dollars really put people off. But the other thing that put people off is that each doll had three variants, um, and they were blind box. So you've got i think it's like six well seven different characters but one didn't come with variants you've got six characters times three variants there's no way to tell which one you're getting really we'll actually get to that in a minute but for the most part there's nothing like a, a little symbol on the box so that parents could kind of know that they weren't wasting money on buying the same doll over and over i myself had gotten quite a few duplicates it wasn't the worst thing in the world it wasn't the best it's kind of annoying, but I was really lucky because I was able to find a lot of people in the community, both on the Fail Fix Facebook page and on Instagram, who were able to kind of, like, trade with me, like, the ones I had for the ones that they had in duplicates. Um, so we're going to go over the characters right quick. I'm going to introduce you to them. I'm going to talk about how you can kind of find them, like, when you're looking for specific ones, um, really quickly, but I'll also have photos on my Instagram that show kind of what you can look for when they're in the box to find the specific variants you're looking for. But yeah, so real quick, I'm going to start with the one doll that didn't have any variants. And that is Too Dreamy. Um, and she actually came with two different outfits, two different pairs of shoes, but her makeup was the same. Now with this one, to make her look a little different, I actually just took my finger and lightly scraped the glitter off. And she's actually getting her hair dyed today. Too Dreamy comes in a like a play set. She comes with stuff that you can put in her hair to make it blue and pink. And it comes with a thing where you can do like a, I guess it's like a fishtail braid. We're not actually going to use that stuff on her hair. Because if it's anything like the stuff that came with the Rainbow High Dolls hair for Amaya, it was really gross. So we're actually just going to use our usual Rit um, all-purpose clothing dye to do her hair the blue and pink that she could have come with had we used what came in the box with her. I really loved her with the white blonde hair. So I bought two specifically so that I could have one with blue and pink and then one with the original hair. Um, especially since all the other girls came with three variants. Now, they came with your daytime variant, which was their normal look. The sparkle variant, which usually had like some glitter or some kind of shine added, and then it had different makeup, and then an evening variant, which was very, very different in outfit. Um, whereas the sparkle and daytime were basically the same outfit, but one had more glitter on it than the other. So the first one I actually bought was one named Kawaii Cutie, and she's very like, um, Asian fashion based. She comes with these cute little blue and pink shoes and a very kind of anime or Asian art inspired dress. Now, in this case, her actual original dress, this is actually the second variant of it, um, was based on, and I'll show you because my sparkle variant has the original sparkle variant outfit. Um, this was actually based off of an Instagram artist artwork and it was like a direct like they directly stole this artwork from this artist um and i don't know what that artist is doing about it if they have any kind of like legal action they've taken whatever so i'm not going to get into that but i will say that this version of the outfit which as you can tell like they basically didn't really change it a whole lot like you can tell that this is still heavily inspired by this so that means that she actually has 
a variant of this outfit without the glitter for her daytime look as well, which means that she actually has five variants. So she has two daytime, two glitter, and as you can tell, I've already dyed this one's hair with Rit All Purpose Fuchsia in the Sink Method. Her bangs don't dye, which is something I've noticed that everyone says who has tried to dye Kawaii Cutie. Here's her evening variant. Um, and again, she's got like little ice cream drips and little, I guess they're little stars, like star freckles across her nose. And she has a cat ice cream, like sweater top. Now, when you're looking for her, um, or any of them really, the way their face paint clips on, you can usually see a little bit of their makeup color under their eye. This is not the case in all of them, but in Kawaii Cutie, if you look under her face plate, you can see yellow for the daytime variant, a tiny sprinkle of pink for the sparkle variant, and a little bit of the white on the evening variant. So that does, it does kind of help. I was actually, she was the easiest one for me to guess who was in the package and get what I wanted. We are not going to dye her daytime variant because I love her the way she is. Um, and I actually dyed the little pom-poms on top of her head. Oh, sorry guys. I have everything kind of laid out funny. Um, and they did dye as well. So like, I do have those for this version. The like sparkle variant already dyed. We are going to dye the evening variant and we are going to try some, I don't know. I'm debating on either blue or purple with her. Now, Kawaii Cutie also had a Kawaii Kitty. Um, some of the dolls do have pets, not all of them. This one is actually really easy to find. All right, so the next doll that we have is Love Glams, which is actually one of my favorites. She's probably the one that kind of inspired me to go ahead and try and find all three variants of every doll. With this one, I actually had a really hard time because her daytime makeup, sorry, and her sparkle makeup are so similar that under that eye mask you can't really tell. Now you can see that the sparkle version has kind of a gold foil on her dress whereas the day version doesn't. Um, but otherwise they're they're really similar. It's very hard to find. When looking under their mask I honestly could not tell which one was which. I ended up with three sparkle versions before I finally found someone who would trade me a day version for a sparkle version. So that's kind of a thing. I actually really love the sparkle version as is. So we are going to give new hair to the day version. I'm thinking I'm just going to like take the red out and go with like a dark chocolatey brown. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, her evening version has this beautiful gold kind of almost, I guess, festival style makeup. That's where I'm going with this. Like it's very festival style, very golden. Her dress is very, very different than the other two. As you can see, when looking for her, honestly, her and Sparkle both have kind of a whitish, whitish yellow on the inside of their eye. So I kept looking for her and kept getting Sparkle as well. Whereas with the daytime variant, the color under her eyes is very like neutral skin tone color. So it's it's a little easier to tell. She's not the easiest one to pick out, but she's she's not bad. So she is really cute. They all all of the variants of each doll have the same shoes in this case, um, and the same jewelry. They just have different dresses. So I don't know. I debated on dyeing her hair like a gorgeous black color. Um, so I think I'm just gonna leave one of each doll its original color and then try and dye the other two. This video is gonna be kind of long and I'm really sorry about that, but I know a lot of you love the long videos and request them. So hopefully for those fans, this will be good. We have the Dance Styles doll. This one, I honestly, from the box, didn't really like any of her makeup or clothing, but I didn't feel right getting all of the other ones and not her because I knew she'd be redressable. She's actually way cuter in person. So the day variant, um, with her makeup, like you can see a little bit of purple on the corner of her mask, but it is the exact same for the evening variant. So it's kind of hard to tell them apart. Now mind you, I've styled their hair. Initially, all their hair combs looking the same. So there's not really any difference in that, but there is in the makeup. And of course the glitter version's dress is slightly different and sparkly, but yeah. So mostly all of the glitter versions come with like very heavy glitter makeup. I love the day version. So she will be the one on that set that I'm not dying. The evening version is, sorry, her hair's a little wavy still. Cause when I sat her down, it was still damp. Um, but she, obviously her dress is much different. Her makeup is a lot more detailed. 
when you're looking for her in her face mask on the left side, you can see a bit of pink from the number up under her eye, and that's how to tell you're getting the evening version. She comes with plain white sneakers on all of her dolls as well, and this one I don't have her earrings in. I could not find dance styles in any of the stores near me. It is very common to find that stores don't always carry black dolls. Um, so someone was actually kind enough to send me her, um, and like, I'm so glad they did because I realized how much more beautiful she is in person. Went out, I found the sparkle version at TJ Maxx, and then I think I got the day version off of Target, and I just kind of got lucky that it was the day version. So the day version is supposed to be the most common, and then next up would be the um, sparkle versions are kind of rare, and then the evening versions are supposed to be really rare. Um, next up, we have Slay It DJ who is pretty adorable. I actually managed to find the day version of her. I found the night version of her at TJ Maxx. There's the evening version. And then the sparkle version I traded for. So for these two, again, it's the same dress, except for this one has glitter. And then the makeup is a little different, but when their eye masks are on, it doesn't really look terribly different. She has a tiny bit of yellow towards the inside corners of her eyes, whereas this one has like a neutral skin tone. So when you're looking for them, if you see yellow in the eye corner, it's day version, neutral, it's evening version. She has some cute pink boots on. I think I'm leaving the day version as is. I'd love to see her in a wine color to go with her lipstick. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do with the sparkle version. And then for the evening version, maybe purple to go with her lipstick and eye makeup when you're looking for her her eye mask you can see the yellow on this eye so if you're looking for the evening version keep an eye out for that yellow it's on my evening version of dj her eye is actually kind of wonky and i am because i have a couple of extra dolls going to work to see if it's adjustable in any way i don't know what's kind of inside their heads or behind there i don't know if it's like rainbow high where i can kind of pop it out from behind and then maybe move it around or replace it. We're going to check on that in a bit. Next is Pretty Artie. So I have the day version, which she's super cute. The sparkle version of her is the same thing, but like she's got little kind of metallic things on her clothes. They're kind of holographic and you can't really see them unless you move her around. Um, out of the two, I do like the sparkle version's makeup the best. So she's actually the one that's going to not be getting dyed this time around. Um, for the evening version, who's very different, she has glitter lips. I hate glitter lips, but it's all right. We'll, we'll live with it. And her makeup is very ornate. She's got this adorable little kind of plastic rain slicker type coat on. Um, and it's got like little paint splatters and art stuff. She's going to be getting some lovely dark blue hair, maybe some nice indigo. I think is what I've settled on for her. She actually, Pretty Artie has the Artie Puppy, I think is her name. I can't remember what her dog's name is, but she has like this kind of Afghan hound style. And it's really weird because it has like a line of hair down its back and then its tail and a goatee, but bald everywhere else. The next one is actually the hardest one to differentiate in box. And that is going to be Preppy Posh. I spent forever looking for her evening version. I actually finally found someone who could send it to me. Um, but this one gave me so much trouble because, take her glasses off, her makeup is so similar on every single doll that it was hard enough as it is to kind of guess which one was which. Some of them, if the robe, the little plastic shell that comes over their clothes is pulled up enough, you can look inside and see if there's a difference. Like with her, her other outfits don't have sleeves. This one does. Um, some of the outfits, you can see the sparkle coming off of them, or like, if you shine your flashlight in there. So that's a thing. But this one, she had no sleeves. She had no... <sighs> it was all just a one big struggle. Her bottom part of her eye on her mask comes up so high that you can't look underneath it to see which makeup variant you're getting. She That's why she's so hard. But on top of that, her makeup is all, well, at least on these two, is pretty neutral, pretty, pretty similar on the lower lid part. Um, so even if it showed, I think the only one you'd be able to kind of guess at might be this one, but it doesn't. It doesn't show at all. It's very, very hard 
to guess which one you're getting. So the plain variant, her tie is printed on. The sparkle variant has a ribbon and then like glitter on her skirt. And then the evening variant, of course, has the gold dress. They all have like these little pink shoes, pink glasses and earrings. So I think I'm going to leave the evening version as my favorite. It's really hard because I think she would look really cute with like some light pink hair. But I actually just really love her as is. And Preppy Posh comes with Preppy Paws, which is her little dog. Um, it's really not any different than the other dog. It's also got the weird line of hair down the middle of its back into its tail. And then this kind of crazy mane. The sparkle version will get like some sweet pink hair. And I think I'm going to do a light brown on the day version. Now I also have two spares. One of the day version. I've still got her mask on, sorry. And I actually have her in two dreamies robe that comes with the playset. But it's because I couldn't figure out, I had already redressed some of them. I couldn't figure out what I did with daytime's dress. So I let her borrow this daytime's dress and then just slid her into the robe. Because I had them all redressed. Like, they do fit other stuff. They fit LOL OMG shoes. They fit Snapstar clothing. Cuckoo Harajuku clothing. Some Monster High clothing. But the length is kind of an issue because they are a bit shorter than Monster High dolls. So I have a spare sparkle and I have a spare daytime. I've offered them up. Nobody on Instagram or Facebook seems to need them. So we will be taking... And you can see like her earrings are stuck in her hair, her glasses, her shoes. We'll be taking that down, washing their hair and dyeing them as well. But we're also going to use at least one of them to attempt an eye change. Now, I don't even know if it'll work. I don't know if it might tear them up or if the eyes might come out and never, ever go back in. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't seen anyone do it. Um, or even make like, I think most people are kind of scared. I know I kind of am. Their heads are pretty pretty hard, like Rainbow High heads, but once we heat them up, similar to how we did with Rainbow High, it might be soft enough to pop the eyes out. We're gonna try. I can't guarantee that I can get the eyes back all like out and then back in, but we'll see. So let's head to the kitchen so that we can get everybody dyed. All right, guys, we've got everybody laid out with the colors I feel like are gonna go best with them. Not 100% sure how that's going to work out. I would sit, but there's somebody in my chair. So we've got everything we need. Um, we've already put our vinegar and our salt in the pans as well as the sink. There's a huge difference, and I think that this is something people miss out on when they see my photos, but they don't watch the video. And that's that... If you're going to want a very vibrant color or a very dark color, you're going to have to go with the boil method. If you're doing like pastels or kind of like a light to middle ground color, you can do the sink method. But for like if blacks, browns, purples don't always come out, like unless you're doing like a lavender, they don't always come out as saturated if you don't boil them. And in fact, like the black with RIT doesn't really even do anything if you don't boil it so um and then some other colors even some of the lighter colors honestly like gray and stuff um just look better boiled so we're doing both methods today and i just wanted to make sure that i said that because like i've seen a lot of people lately who see my photos and they ask what colors i used but they don't watch the video so they don't know the method i used and then when they can't get that color it's kind of confusing for them so I'm going to pop my phone on my tripod right quick and we'll get started. Okay guys, so we're actually going to start with Too Dreamy, which is the doll that came in the kind of like uh, playset pack. Now, the thing about Too Dreamy is that I should mention she was not the same price as the other dolls because of the fashion, like the, the accessory pack. She actually was like, I think $15.99 when she went on sale and originally was like $25.99. Like she was pretty pricey and honestly, like most of the stuff, like to me anyway, it really wasn't worth it. Like I think maybe for a child it could have been, but like it wasn't really my thing. So like I said, originally she came with some stuff where you can make half of her hair pink, half of it baby blue. That's what we're gonna do today. I've got my hair in a bun cause I'm serious and ready for business got my all black clothes on so that if I get dye on it it doesn't matter got enough cat hair anyway 
Anyway, so I, now this too dreamy in particular, like the rooting is pretty thin on her. I don't think it's like that on all of them because I know my other one was pretty thickly rooted. It's just this one, um, but her hair is gonna be up. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, worse comes to worse. I can drop another $15 on one, but we're not gonna be bothered with that because it's not that serious. So I'm gonna do her hair in the baby blue and the baby pink. I've already got it separated, tied the half of it up that I'm not dying right away. Um, I'm going to do the, as you can see, the sink method. I'm going to do the color aqua in writ all purpose dye. Um, and I'm just gonna like swish it around in there until it turns the right color. I didn't do the fuchsia first because there's actually another doll that I'm going to do in that as well that's gonna have baby pink hair. So that's another reason I try to lay them all out with the dye they're going with. Um, it just kind of helps me figure out what order to go in. I tend to do lighter colors first and then up to darker. It also lets me know if two dolls are getting the same colors so that I don't waste dye dumping it out, then realizing I have to boil another pot or run another sink full. Um, it doesn't really even require that much dye. I don't actually measure it. I just usually kind of poke a hole in the top or just peel the top back a little bit, depending on which kind of top it has, and just like do a couple of squirts in the sink. Um, so that's like a thing too, like I'm not very good at that. Um, the salt and vinegar, again, splash and a dash. I don't really, I really measure it. So let's go ahead and get her blue side done right quick. I'm just going to hold the side that's going to be pink out of the way. I don't want to leave it in the sink too long because her hair is white and it's going to turn really, really fast. If you happen to get a little bit on the other side, like it's not the end of the world. But I basically leave it in for about 30 seconds and then well, cold rinse it. I forgot to turn my sink to cold. And you see, like it's not going to be as dark as it initially looked. So it is lighter when you rinse it. Um, I'm gonna make sure that there are no white streaks left that need to be blue. Like I said, it got a little bit on the inside. It's not a big deal, you guys. It's not gonna ruin anything. Like, once you style their hair, it's not even probably gonna be visible. All right, we're gonna do a little more towards the front because I feel like it's still a bit white. We'll just do a little more all over. All right, and then again, Rinse it really quickly. And again, just check all over, make sure everything, like if you see right here, um, these two pieces didn't get dyed because I held them in the wrong hand and it's still a bit white right there. So we're gonna go in again. Make sure we get the back dipped and then again, rinse it really quickly. Also, what you can do, if you really want to be careful to not get it mixed, is just get a spoon and dip it around the edges. Especially towards that inner part. Which, I mean, I do, but like a lot of times, it, because it's not really super visible anyway, I don't stress over it. All right, once we have her finished, if no one else is getting the same baby blue, we're gonna drain the sink and fill it up with the next color. All right, so I don't really run a super ton of water because you don't really need that much. Like I said, I just put a splash of vinegar. I really don't even do the salt in the sink method because it's not really helpful. It's mostly to help the water get to a higher temperature if you're boiling, but in the sink, I don't think it's like a big deal. So like I said, I just kind of pull the, the tab up a bit, or if it's got the other type of top, um, like a foil top, I'll just like poke a hole in it. And then I just like squirt a random amount in there. Like I don't need a ton. And then I'm going to take the rubber band out of the pink side of her hair, or the side that's going to be pink. Um, and I'm going to take this blue side and tie it off 
so that it doesn't accidentally end up in the pink and I don't end up with some purple hair. Although honestly, if I did, I probably wouldn't stress over it. All right, and then holding onto the blue side so it doesn't get in the pink, I just go in and dip that. And like I said, it might look kind of dark at first, um, but it does lighten up as you rinse it. I've never had a doll get any kind of staining from the sink method, but please know that any kind of prolonged like dipping could potentially cause that. So again, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to turn my sink to cold, do the cold rinse. If you think that the color has gotten a bit dark, you can honestly use some Dawn dish soap and wash it a bit lighter. That is also a thing, depending on what color you want. I think the fuchsia is a much prettier pink than the Rit um, all-purpose petal pink or rose quartz. The rose quartz is actually kind of orangey, almost peachy, and the petal pink is alright. It's just not, to me, as pretty as the fuchsia, but they are technically lighter pinks if you don't want something as bright. But if it is a little bright, like I just use some Dawn dish soap, and as you can tell, like some of the dyes coming out a bit. It's not going to make it terribly lighter because it's already stained, but it does rinse out a little bit of the extra. Alright, and then now that both sides are dyed, take them down, rinse them both. Alright, so the other thing is, when you're about to dry them, if your doll is supposed to have curly or wavy hair, it is better to kind of scrunch their hair up like this. If you brush it out and it dries straight, it's going to stay straight. You can also wrap it in like straws, like curlers, and do like really curly hair. But I'm not really going to stress over that today. We're just going to scrunch it up a bit so that it dries with a wave to it because it's going to be up in a ponytail anyway because of how thin her hair is. And we are going to dip this preppy posh she is the sparkle version with the little hearts on her cheeks in the pink as well the pink is going to show up a little different on her hair just because her hair is not white to begin with the way two dreamies is you can use your hands i don't use gloves but if you use your hands they're going to stain like that's the thing that's going to happen i don't want to leave her in too long either which is another reason i'm doing the sink method because i want her hair a very soft pink but I wanted to make sure that it made it all the way through her hair and I didn't end up with blonde chunks. But I didn't want to leave her hair in there a long time either. So that's kind of why I used my hand to like make sure that the hair was separated, was it clumped together, that the dye could get through all the fibers. I kind of want her hair like a very soft blushy pink, which is great that her hair has a, a blonde base for that because it's not going to end up as pink as it is like a blush color. And so now you can see that it goes more with her makeup and I don't know, like I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm going to get a little more in the front around the face and around the back because I do feel like those areas didn't pick up as much dye. Alright, and she is rinsed. We're going to do the same thing as with the last doll and kind of give her a bit of scrunch so that her hair dries in some nice kind of wavy curls and lay her aside. And now we're going to start on the next doll. Alright, next up we're going to do couple of drops of the red all-purpose coral and a little bit of the orange because we're just kind of going going for like a peachy hair on the next preppy i know i have so many preppies though but like she's kind of my experiment doll for the day 
like trial and error. I never know if they're going to come out right or what they're going to look like. But I kind of wanted something like a soft peach color as well on her. And this is the daytime version. So that's which version I'm using. Alright, and with her yellow hair, honestly, that was pretty quick to get peach. I'm going to go a little more around the face. Punch out again. And there we go. One peach preppy posh. Again, we'll do a scrunch. Now, for this next version, I'm probably... I'm going to try the sink method. I don't know if it's going to work. If not, we will go with the stovetop method. We're going to put some caramel in here to make it a bit darker. And then we're going to try to see... I, and her hair is not starting off green, so I think that's a big difference. <clears throat> but I did last time the tan and the coral and the orange to get the color I have on my copper... Um, Rainbow High Karma. So we're going to see if we can get like a nice coppery color. It might not work in the sink. Also, this is like camel and not tan, so it might be darker than what I originally wanted. Yeah, I think the camel's going to make it too dark, so we're just going to swap it. Alright, so our hair didn't come out as copper as I wanted. We're going to actually do the boil method to get it as rich as we want it. But since we already have the sink going, I went ahead and did some of the Rit All Purpose Camel. We have them out of the tan right now, so we're just going to go with the camel for a light brown. I think the tan would have probably just made it more of a dark blonde, and I really want to go for like a very soft baby brown. And again, I usually go in for like 30 seconds, rinse it out, 30 seconds, rinse it out. Alright, so the camel isn't doing terribly much. It's almost giving her hair a green tint. We're going to grab the cocoa brown. So I specifically picked the cocoa brown because it is getting kind of a green tint. And the cocoa brown has a red tint to it, which helps balance any of that out. So it's still not doing terribly much. We're going to let it sit for a little bit. Alright, so neither of those work that I wanted them to, but it's cool. We're just going to do the same mix, but in a pan. So we have the orange and coral in here, and I have the cocoa brown in there for preppy. We're going to do those, and I tend to do them for about 30 seconds, and then do a cold rinse, and then 30 seconds, cold rinse. And that's kind of how I do with Rainbow High as well. Because boiling does run a higher risk of staining than the sink version, even though these aren't the synthetic dyes that stain really bad, they can cause like a residue and it washes off, but like, let's try not to have to. All right, I'm going to dip these guys and then be right back with you. Okay, so I did manage to get it to turn copper. I don't know if I mentioned, but she actually has like a shaved like, sorry, undercut kind of thing. It's plastic molded, so like, it doesn't really take the dye. So just keep that in mind when you're picking a color to dye her. I honestly don't remember what color I said I was gonna dye her, but I changed my mind last minute. So again, it just kind of turned Preppy's hair like a dishwater blonde to do the sink method in brown. So we're gonna do the stovetop method. And I'm gonna do, again, it's gonna be like, 30 seconds in, like 20 second cold rinse, 30 seconds in. So I'll be right back with you guys so I can go back and forth to the sink. Okay guys, so if you can see right here behind her ear, there is a tiny little bit of brown. So these guys do seem to have a higher chance of staining while boiling. So I would just be more careful to not get their faces in it or not for more than like a second and to wipe them off right away. I don't really have that problem with her, but 
just in case, especially because I'm about to use really dark colors. We're going to go with Rit All Purpose Indigo for this version of Artie. And especially because she has bangs, we've got to be really careful not to let it leave her on her face too long since it does seem like they could stain. These guys are both getting dark purple, but I'm only doing her pink braids. So I'm probably going to have to do that over the sink with the spoon just to make sure that it doesn't get too much on her face. I'm still going to boil it though and use it as a hot dye. So with Artie, I really just kind of thought that the indigo might go really well with her lipstick. And it looks like it's going to. I'm going to transfer this over the sink so that if anything gets on her face, I can rinse it off quickly and I'll be right back. Alright, so Artie honestly looks amazing with the indigo, but much like Kawaii, her bangs don't take the dye at all. Like, it literally just rinses straight out. So, a heads up on that. And I'm going to move over to the sink to do these guys a dark purple. Um, I think that Kawaii is going to be easy, but again, her bangs aren't going to take it. I don't know how much darker it'll even go than her regular hair. But again, just be careful with the face. Um, and then I'm gonna try to film how I do the braids on, um, oh my goodness, dance styles. Okay, as expected with Kawaii, the purple turned really pretty, but again, her bangs didn't do anything. So I'm gonna lay her aside to dry. I've moved the purple pot to the front and I have my pot for my next doll kind of going in the back. I don't think it would make a point to put the brown part of Dan Style's hair in there. Honestly, I don't think the purple will do anything over top of the brown. I'm honestly, I don't know what the other girl's bangs are made out of and why they're a different material than the rest of their hair and why they don't dye. I don't know that the braids, I don't know what material they're made out of. They might not take the dye either, but I guess we're gonna find out. If the pink ones do, then we'll see if the brown ones will. All right, it looks like maybe a little, but it also doesn't look enough. It looks like if I rinsed it, it'll wash right out. So give me a couple of minutes. I'm gonna see what goes on with this and I'll be right back. Alright, I said heck with it and just decided to dump all of her braids in. I think if it does anything to the brown, it'll just make them look black or like darker brown. But I'm kind of okay with that because I think it would help separate her from her two other versions. Alright, it's starting to turn purple, but it's not taking the dye as easily as the other dolls. So her hair may just be like a different fiber. I'm going to finish her over the sink and then be right back to do my other arty. Alright, let me just be the first to say it came out kind of sick. Like, I'm honestly really glad that I went purple because the brown braids actually turned kind of a purplish black. And I think it's actually really pretty and flattering on her. So we're going to lay her aside along with Kawhi. I'm kind of moving everybody down as I go. We're going to switch pots. All right, for this pot, I'm using the pearl gray in the writ all purpose, but if it doesn't show up enough on Artie's hair, I might add charcoal gray to it. I just wasn't sure if the pearl, like I don't want it super dark, so I tried to avoid the charcoal gray, but I wanted it dark enough that it wasn't blue. And I think honestly, okay, no, with the boil method, I think we're gonna get there. It's gonna be a blue gray, but I think it's gonna be pretty. Again, I'm not worried if I get it in her bangs because I know it's just going to rinse straight out. Her bangs aren't going to die, which is sad. I think it would be cute. It looks cute, but it's not going to happen. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so Artie's hair came out of more of a denim blue than an actual gray, but that's cool. We're going to let it chill in a science experiment I have going on and go back to her. So we're going to do wine on this beautiful, like, sparkle DJ. And see how that comes out. So I'm going to move to the sink because I don't want this to stain and I'll be right back. Alright, so here is DJ with the wine hair. Um, it's hard to tell, like it's kind of purpley. It's hard to tell what it's going to be like when it dries. But I really think it's going to match her lips really well. Next up, 
another preppy and this one is actually going emerald and I don't know why. My brain said, you know what would be great? Emerald. It doesn't go with her makeup. It doesn't go with her clothes. It's not inspired by anything. I just like the color emerald. And at first you may notice that their hair kind of floats until it gets good and wet. You can actually pre-wet it in the sink um, to make it like dip down in the dye faster. So I'm actually gonna go do this over the sink, but you can tell it's already coming out. I just like to have these by the sink so that like I can, if dye gets on their face, I can rinse it off immediately so it doesn't stain. And then I will be right back. Okay guys, so with the emerald, I actually did it kind of as an ombre, but like not even necessarily on purpose. I don't know, I really wasn't thinking about it very much. We'll see how it comes out when it dries because it looks still kind of streaky, but it's very mermaidy right now. And like, I'm pretty okay with that. Like, I don't know. Again, I might go over it just to get the areas closer to the face. I was really nervous that it would stain, so I was kind of weird about putting her face in for too long. As far as Artie goes, I used a charcoal gray and a sink wash with a little bit of yellow to tone down some of the blue and make it a more neutral gray. But it's still darker than what I would have actually wanted. So luckily this is the supposedly like super not rare daytime Artie. Um, so worst comes to worst, I just find another of her in like one of the stores and maybe do a sink this time. Like I really thought the boil had to be the way to go because I thought like her hair is so light but it's so blue that if I did a sink wash it wouldn't cover it well enough. And now I'm thinking, you know what, it probably would have. So next up we're going to do a brown and a black dye. These are our darkest two for our last three dolls. I am doing a dark brown on this Sparkle DJ as well as this regular daytime version of um, Love's Glam. And ooh, I have an earring caught in her hair. As you can tell, they do come in two body sizes and I don't know if I showed that earlier. Um, Preppy and Love's Glam, I know for a fact are like two of the thicker ones and the rest of them I think all come in the thinner like body shape. So that's a thing as well. Then I'm also going to be doing a black haired version of this Evening Love's Glam. So I'm going to carry, probably carry these to the sink in a minute and then rejoin you. Let's see if it shows anything so far. Okay, it's immediately going dark. It's taking a little quicker than the purple did, but it's also darker than the purple. So, I mean, that's a thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can tuck her in here as well. I don't know how the brown is going to cover the wine, if it's going to be too warm or too purpley. But I'm probably going to leave it in there for quite a while. So as soon as I get these guys handled and I'm ready for the other one, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so that was the dark brown, not the cocoa brown. And I wanted to make sure to make that distinction. I think it came out really pretty on Love's Glam. And it kind of matches her eyebrows. It's more what I was going for in comparison to her regular hair. I didn't use the cocoa brown because it's a warmer. And as you can tell, this already has some red tones remaining. But um, the dark brown is just a cooler tone, so it kind of toned some of the red out and made it more brown. Alright, so I also did the same thing on the sparkle version of Dance Styles, and I didn't love it. I feel like it didn't really take as well with her braids. It just, they still kind of have a pink vibe to them. So I'm actually going to go over it in black while I do this evening version of um, Love's Glam and see how that goes because i think maybe i would just like her better with just like very plain hair but the brown didn't cover the pink enough go ahead see if i can't tuck this evening version in here with her black can take quite a while to get so do not feel bad or don't feel rushed with it rit black is known for needing really high heat and quite a while to turn true black. Even when I was doing like bridal dresses, a lot of times it would go like a really dark purple, not even gray always, just like a really dark purple before it would ever get truly black and it took forever. So with black, you just kind of have to be patient. I, I'm gonna move these to the sink so that I'm able to do them to where I can rinse them quickly and I know they won't stain and I'll be right back. 
All right, so the black hair looks amazing. I'm gonna set these guys up to dry and then we'll be back to try an eye swap. All right, I swear like 90% of being a YouTuber that does hair dye videos is waiting for water to boil. Now that we have that, I'm gonna take a Ziploc bag. This is like a, this one's pretty big, but you can take any size. I'm gonna stick my doll inside the bag and we are going to hold her head in the boiling water. We're going to get it as much around her neck as possible because we really want it to like soften her head up a lot. Alright, we're getting there. And honestly, the only reason I use the bag is really just to kind of keep her hair dry if I don't want to get it wet. So her head is really good and squishy. We're going to try to, and I don't know if this will work. I don't know if it'll break or if it'll pop out easily. I've never done this. I picked this particular preppy because I thought, well, if it does break off, it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, right now I still can't get whatever is holding her head on out. So it's like other dolls, but if you look, the, the piece that goes up in her head is really, really, really thin. And I think that's what I'm worried about breaking. And then it goes up into like a kind of round piece. Sorry, I'm trying to do this. Where you can see it and I'm least likely to break her. But I don't think it's going to work, you guys. Like, I don't see her head coming off without breaking it. So I guess we're not doing an eye swap. I am going to wipe all these purple fingerprints off her face before they stain, though. Alright guys, so I'm ready to do my like little closer of my video and my new ring light, the one I just got like not even that long ago, broke in the same place, the exact same place as my last one. Okay, so like, I'll even show you guys real quick. It's got this little plastic piece that fits in right here and it goes over top of a metal screw that fits down inside of... Here you go. So it goes over top of this middle screw. As you can see, there's the plastic piece. Um, and then it fits up inside of the ring light. But that plastic piece is so thin and weak that it keeps breaking. Um, even just this one. Okay, so the last one, it fell over um, one foot over onto my bed. And this one just broke from the weight of my phone being in it, I guess. No idea. So anyway. I'm going to do this closer while holding my phone. This should be fun. Uh, we'll do what we can. Okay, really quickly, first off, we have my daytime kawaii cutie. And we dyed the, eve no, the sparkle version of her, a previous video, did this cute pink color to go with her dress. Please note that a lot of these don't match their clothes, but they're all getting redressed. I just have them in their, um their stock clothing in order to show you guys all the comparisons of them so you can check out probably this weekend i'll have time um i'll post pictures of them in different outfits from like other doll brands or whatever i'm going to swap them into here is the evening version i did her with the rich purple honestly if i was going to leave her in this dress i probably would have used like the aquamarine or the teal but since i already know she's getting a different dress i went ahead and did the purple all right next up we have this is actually the sparkle version of my loves glam in her stock version and real quick i did the daytime version in a chocolatey brown you can still see some of the red highlights in it. Her hair is not all the way dry, so it's looking a bit thin and a little darker than it normally would. Um, but it is just because like they're still wet because I have a date with my beautiful husband who is sitting out in our Jeep right now waiting on me because I'm running so late. All right, real quick, the evening version, her hair looks amazing in the black. I absolutely love it. Again, it looks really thin and kind of scraggly because it is still really wet um i don't think that when these guys dry i'm going to paint their scalps i don't think i'll have to their hair kind of fluffs up when it's dry so it covers but i mean it is a possibility 
and I think okay yeah so this is the day version of my dance styles she remained stock for the sparkle version I did just straight black originally it was supposed to be brown but I just kind of liked the black better it's still a little light around her face I think I could definitely go back over it with the black more but I was really nervous when I realized that it does stain um, and I just didn't want to risk staining her face and then for my evening version I did the purple and I did it all over her braids so even the brown braids are purple and I'm kind of in love I I think she might be my new favorite to be honest or like one of them easily um sorry my arm is getting tired all right so next up would be too dreamy which was the the doll that came up with the two fashions in the playset her hair is normally white we she normally comes with a baby blue and baby pink like hair dye stuff i went ahead and did it with the writ dye again it's still damp but her hair was really thin anyway um but i do think it's cute i like the the way it came out um oh my gosh my arm's gonna fall off before i finish this video i'm so sorry i'm rushing you guys all right day version of the slay it dj and I did not try to fix the evening version's eyes, so when we get there, I'll explain that. Here's the sparkle version in the wine color. I really love that it goes with her lipstick. I cannot wait to find, like, a cute outfit for her. The evening version, I, I think I originally said I was going to try to do something to match her lipstick. And then I decided that I kind of wanted to go copper, like my Copper Karma, which is what I ended up doing. It does not look great with her lipstick or her dress at all. And one of her eyes is still kind of wonky, but I honestly forgot to fix it until after I got her dressed and then didn't want to risk, like, getting anything wet. Um, which I could have done in that last part where you guys saw, like, I am not ever going to try to take their heads off. I did see the one lady on, I think it was, like, the Facebook group who, like, cut the back of the head open to change the eyes. And they kind of had the rainbow high thing where it was like a plastic thing that the eyes snapped into. I think I'm going to be able to straighten it and I might try that later on and show you guys how it goes in a different video. But for today, I really, really have to get going. So, all right. Sparkle version of Pretty Artie, who is honestly one of my favorites. I did the evening version in the indigo to go with her lipstick. More than love it, um, but I don't know if I love it with the outfit. We'll see on that. The eve or the daytime version was supposed to be gray, and honestly, you guys, I should have done a sink wash, and then if that didn't work, um, moved it over to a boil wash. I did the boil first. Didn't love it. It was a little bit blue, so I switched to a different gray and added in a bit of yellow to tone the blue down. It was just still like a dark blue. I didn't love it again, so I added some purple. And so now it's kind of a dark bluish purple. It is darker than the indigo. And it is super wet because like I literally just finished it. So it might be lighter when it dries. If I get a second one, which I might, I think I'll just go with the purple. But for now, I don't not love her. I don't know how I feel. Like I love her, but like it wasn't what I wanted. I really wanted the gray and I should have done the sink wash that was my bad all right last up is preppy posh is it posh preppy preppy posh yeah um okay so here is my evening version that i literally just got from someone who was kind enough to send her to me um and trade for a i think it was a day version or a sparkle version i don't even remember I think it was a day version anyway but i love her so much and even though i think pink hair would go great with her makeup could not bring myself to dye her i did however dye a sparkle version of her with the pink hair and not having that free hand here we go all right so i do think that it's really really cute the sparkle version with the soft baby pink hair Again, it's wet, so they look like they've got big bald spots, but their hair does fluff up really nicely when it dries. All right, I'm going to take the glasses off of all of them. Next up is the day version of her in a soft peach color. I think it looks more peachy in person and kind of more blonde with the lighting. There we go. If I pull it back, you can see it. I think it's cute. I don't know. 
it just doesn't go with the outfit and the earrings but i don't think it's bad on her i just think she'll be cuter dressed in something else the other daytime version of her with the mermaid hair i actually have a really cute sushi outfit that i think is going to go pretty with this hair and then the last one was another sparkle version it's the version that i originally wanted i wanted her with a light brown hair to match her eyes i actually figured that I liked this one the least out of all of them so if I was going to eye swap somebody it would be her. The eye swap didn't go well. I don't recommend it. I don't know. I mean you can try if you want. I just couldn't get her head off without feeling like this is definitely going to break. Like there's no way that I think her head would have come off without breaking. Um, it's still like it's not terribly loose. It's a little wobbly compared to what it was originally but she's got honey brown hair for now. Um, it does go really well with her eyes. I think it looks a bit more green on camera because of the lighting, but it's more of an ashen person. Um, so yeah, I don't... <sighs> I would love to see them be able to swap eyes, but I don't think it's going to happen without popping her head off. Like, I just don't see myself being able to do it. If anybody else tries... Hit me up on Instagram. I would love to see a video of it or your results. I just don't think it's something I feel comfortable doing without definitely breaking one of these dolls. So that's everybody. I'm going to wrap this up, go grab ice cream with my husband, and then come back and try to edit it and get it up today. Um, but I will see you guys next week. Next week is, with any luck, we are going to obtain another set of twins. I kind of waited because I know that like most stores only got like four sets at a time. Um, and I didn't want to risk, like, taking a set away from a child unnecessarily, just so that I'd have something to die on YouTube. So, um, I think that it's this weekend, they're coming out in all the stores, the, all the stores will have a bunch of sets of them. I should be able to get a set without having to worry about some kid out there not getting a set because of me. Um... But we're going to dye those Rainbow High Twins and see how they come out. I already have colors picked out. I also have some other dolls coming in the mail that should be in by then. So maybe we'll just have like a whole big dye day. But for now, I will see you guys next week. Hit like, subscribe, bells, all of that stuff. And enjoy Fail Fix. If you guys collect them, if you have cool pictures of them in cute outfits, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I would love to see them. If you dye any of them... Hit me up, tag me in your pictures of them, and um, yeah. Alright, bye guys.